Hey guys, it's Tell Taco here, and I have a dumb idea. I'm gonna be installing Windows 10 19H1 on a netbook. Spoiler alert, it's gonna be slow. So let's get right to it. So first things first, I'm gonna shove a scratch hard drive like this 160GB WD blue hard drive which is gonna die on me <laughs> so yeah I pulled this 160GB WD hard drive from the Lenovo netbook before it was turned to the half top so this is the original hard drive from the S10-2 not the S10-3 which is this one but the S10-2 so yeah let's get right to it the first things first to open up the Lenovo S10 3 to access the hard drive, the wireless card, the WN card, and as well as the rev, you have to undo these four screws using Phillips head screwdriver. It has to be small enough to fit into the screws. And I already did, just in case. So, um, yeah, what do we have here? Okay, the RAM we have installed is the Kingston 2GB, and of course, we have no hard drive at this moment, so I'm gonna pull the caddy out. I already take out two screws. Alright, this one. I'll show you what I mean. It used to have 1GB of RAM, but now I shove 2GB of RAM because 1GB of RAM is not enough for a netbook back in the day, so yeah. Stuck the hard drive in there, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the drive screws. Oh my god, I keep bumping my chair. Okay, got the drive screws, and let's see if I can screw it in. And I put it upside down. Whoops. <laughs> I feel like I'm a total idiot for not figuring out how, how this goes. But no. That's better. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug the drive in. And... Plop it in. And then, screw those two silver screws. Silver screws, silver screws back into the place. And now this thing should be ready for Windows 10 19H1. Because this cover has Windows 7 Starter COA on the cover itself. I'm not gonna show it, so I'm gonna go ahead and install off camera. So yeah, I'll be right back. One thing to note about this Lenovo netbook is that the screen is total. It has one big white bar on the left side of the screen, which which is hard to see on the left side. I, I'm not able to see the stop button, the search button, and as well as the pass view button. So that's kind of a shame. So I might get the screen fixed later on, but not worth it to do that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the item to prop the camera and... In my case, I do have this warm-up pen just to pretend that I play also with the tablet. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna try to prop it in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the netbook in and I'll show you the proof that the screen is total for now. Okay. We're into the setup. 2 gigs of RAM and Atom N470. So yeah, it's really hard to see with those white bars on the, on the screen which is really sad. Really unfortunate, so I'm gonna try to fix it, but I don't think I can for now. But yeah, time and date has been reset back to 2009. I'm gonna replace the CMOS battery, and it detected a 160 gigabyte drive, which is good. So uh, I'm gonna shut it down for now, just because my Windows 10 19 H1 ISO is taking forever to download because of my crappy internet. No way. This. So yeah, I'll be back in the next day, maybe, and then I'll try to install it. Two thousand years later. Come on and pass the junk in and out. <laughs> ah. uh, no. Okay, so I managed to boot to Windows 7 on the drive. Yeah, this is a miracle. This was installed on a Pentium B960 system before, which is currently downloading at the the ISO and we still get wipe bar which I felt disappointed. Yep, there we go. 
It says press control or delete to log on. And I still cannot fix the screen issue. Last time I can, but I don't think I could. Not worth to do that. Actually, I have to press some of the keys really hard. To <laughs> just because I I, 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 I have high doubts that, uh, that some of the keys stop working for some reason. So it says 2.50 a.m. So it's not 2.50 a.m. It's actually um, 11.35 o'clock at night. And it's a solid device driver. The device is ready to use. I'm gonna check that out. Come on! What? Why did it not let me respond? Are you kidding me? Eh. You must restart your computer to apply these changes. Um... Um, excuse me, what? Just let me go on to the device... Uh... Oh. Um, oh. Oh, I got blue screen of death last time. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, it's really hard to see the start menu. <laughs> because of that white bar. Look at this, it's so hard to see. Seriously, this is super hard. I uh, just shut down anyway. I'm gonna clean and install anyway. Screw it. Day two. Okay, you know what? I'm out of patience. So I had to download the Windows 10 19H1 ISO straight from this website called uup.rg atgar.net. So that's the useful website to get uh, Windows 10 installation stuff. So all you have to do is to select Windows 10. What kind of version it is, the final version, inside of version, or the simulative update, which is pretty cool. And then, select version. You can choose either Windows 10 32-bit, or 64-bit, or even the 64-bit version for ARM processor. So, that's pretty cool. Then, select the language to any language you prefer. And then, addition to... Either Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Home for Chinese market, and of course Windows 10 Professional, Windows 10 Pro, whatever. And the download type, you can choose either different method of download stuff. So yeah, so I have to download the ISO that way. And there's the folder called creating ISO 18247, and that was in the zip file. The zip file contains this in the folder. It has the creating ISO, multi creating ISO, and of course the bin folder. And I already have the ISO, so yeah, this is it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create a USB flash drive installation of Windows 10 build 18247. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and we're golden. And it's already empty. It just contains some drivers for my laptop, which is now running Windows 8.1. Go ahead and run Rufus. And it gave me user account control. I'm gonna say yes. And I just downloaded it yesterday, and I didn't run it until now. So, uh, drive properties. In this case, I have 8GB flash drive. And boot selection disk or ISO image. And I'm gonna select the ISO. Okay, standard Windows installation, partition scheme. I better choose Master Boot Racket because my Lenovo netbook doesn't have CSM support. <laughs> so yeah, font label should be, I don't know, 18247 USB. That's that. Okay, file system NTFS. Okay, now it's ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a flash drive and it always tells you that all of your data that was in the flash drive will be poof gone formatted if you don't back up all your stuff from the flash drive to your computer and yeah it's important to back it up first in this case my 8 gigabyte flash drive contains nothing so um, this is gonna take a while so yeah I'll be back all right got the installation media ready to go and I forgot to mention that I made my own lanyard with the ROM chip. It's actually a BIOS chip from my old monitor which died on me. So yeah, it's all in this 8GB USB flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and power it up. But first of all, I'm gonna change the 
Bio State 2. Today is um, actually September uh, 28, 2018. Alright, all ready to go. Wireless function should be on. AHCI mode should be on for now. And now, it's all ready for Windows 10 19 H1 experiment. Just for giggles and shiz, we got Windows logo, which is a good sign. And now I plug in the my mechanical keyboard onto my Lenovo netbook just because some keys do not work on the actual keyboard itself. Oh my god. I feel bad for this Lenovo netbook already. This netbook was 7 years old already. Like, oh, the keyboard's off. Hey, we got spinning thing, which is a great sign. And the background is black for some reason. And there we have it, Windows setup. And time to see format should be English, Malaysia. Oh god, the AVF mouse. My AVF mouse is super broken. Where's Malaysia? Ah, there is. Now, I'm gonna hit install now. Oh, there goes the blue background. Setup is starting. Okay, now we're into the product key thing of a jig. So I'm gonna say I don't have a product key. Alright, I don't see the chat box though, so um, I guess the next button has been enabled because I checked the I accept the license terms. So, who reads you a lot anyway? Okay. Now I'm gonna time to say goodbye to my Osu maps I have and my replace too, which I do feel bad, but yeah, I'll probably reinstall this later on my laptop. Well, all partitions are gone and we now have a clean hard drive. I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna let this install and I'll get back to you. The the installation process can take a lot of time depending on what machine you have. So yeah, I feel bad about this Lenovo Netbook having the white bar on the left side. I'll get back to you guys later. Two hours later. So I fell asleep on my bed while I was waiting for Windows 10 19 H1 to be installed and um, yeah, and now it's been installed. So yeah, okay, gotta wait for the Windows boot screen to go away and we're into the out of box experience. Alright, so I moved the storage location to the internal storage just because I'm running out of space on my SD card. Oh no. Watch how slow it goes. Okay, we have S start with region. Is this right? <laughs> okay, it's mainly my screen problem. Yikes. Let's start with region. Is this right? Yes, it is. Alright. US layout, sure. Wanna add second layout? Eh, uh, no, no thank you. Now let's see what's new from Windows. Oh god. God, just let me create a new account, god darn it. Oh my god, this is so slow to set it up. Ah! Okay, who's going to use this PC? How about... Super memorable password. Simple password is Stamia. The simple password is Stamia. Okay, in case you didn't know about Stamia, it's actually Ichigo Oshimiya's nickname uh, from uh, Aikatsu. Johnny-sensei! What's happening, Stamia? I don't need security questions. Oh! Why, why, why? Why would you do this? Why was your first pet's name? Momo. Mama! Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. It's actually Penny. It's not. It's not an island reference. What the hell? I kind of forgot about the childhood name, but for some reason, I, I'm not gonna give you the uh, my childhood nickname. But I'm just gonna put Mia instead. What's the name of the city you were born? Uh, I cannot think something. But you know what? I'm gonna put Tokyo instead. I actually put fake answers. So um, yeah, don't judge. Don't judge. Wait, what? Do more across devices with activity history. Oh hell no! Okay, privacy settings. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video until I get to the desktop. Two thousand years later. Well, okay, Microsoft Edge opened up on startup, so um, yeah, we're into the desktop finally, at least. 
So, um, let's get to the system properties to see if my Windows is activated or not. Okay, as you can see, the CPU is the Atom N470 clock at 1.83 GHz and of course 2 GB of RAM. It says 1809. Okay, it's actually RS pre-release. So that's 19H1. Okay, it's activated with the digital license. Okay, good. One special thing about Windows 10 19H1 is that we got the blur effect on the lock screen, which is really cool. We have a typical lock screen, but... <laughs> oh god, what's up with the screen right now? Oh my god! But once you hit a key, the background is now um, now having a blur effect. It's actually acrylic blur rather than the aeroglass blur, which I kind of miss on Windows 7 nowadays. So yeah, I wish Microsoft could implement the aeroglass on the aeroglass blur on the lock screen rather than the fluent design on Windows 10. I'm gonna go on to control panel. Oh my god! The search is so big! Oh my god, how does that work? Oh my god, it's so humongous! This person just sexually harassed me! Let's, uh, let's see, system. <laughs> oh my god. Um, the Windows 10 logo was squished. Oh yikes. Okay, we have Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview, and of course it's activated. As I said earlier, it's tied to the motherboard. Alright, let's go on to the advanced system settings. The animation is so choppy. Performance, adjust for best performance. That will disable the animation. But that uh, should take a while. But the problem about this build of Windows 10 is that Task Manager reports that the CPU usage was not displaying accurately. And when I try to scroll things up, Huh. It will flash for some reason, but my task manager is working fine. As you can see, it's already spiking to 100%. Oh, yikes. But other than that, it's working, I guess. But what do you expect for a 70 year old netbook? And this copy of Windows 10 Pro Insider Preview actually expires on December 15, 2018. That's five days after my birthday. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. There are a lot of videos about Windows 10 running on a netbook, but I don't have to do this many times. Mainly because you guys already know that Windows 10 runs like crap on netbooks. Windows 10 is not the best idea for netbook if you're using it on a day-to-day basis. And yeah. This netbook was so old that it won't perform that well on Windows. Alternatively, you can grab a Linux distro that was lightweight enough for my needs, so uh, yeah. That's about it for installing Windows 10 19H1. So yeah, I'll, I'll try to use it for a couple days so I'll get back to you.